Welcome to the Enterprise Architecture Radio. We are doing a multi-part series on the five domains of digital transformation. In the first part, we talked about customer and we looked at how the marketplace has changed, how micro-customization and micro-customer segmentation uh, is changing the way organizations are doing business. In the part two, we talked about competition and data and how the competition is changing and how the data is enabling organizations and how it's becoming more and more important to leverage data. In today's part three, which is the final part of this series, we'll talk about innovation and value. Now, there's very little about innovation and value that I can talk about that you don't already know. Uh, we all know that organizations have to innovate from time to time. We all know that organizations that do not innovate ultimately die. And we've heard the stories of Kodak and about Blockbuster and how they died because they failed to innovate. Um, and we also know and understand value proposition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you three stories today and leave it up to you. So the first story is about the transformation of Maersk Line. Uh, Maersk Line is the world's largest container shipping company, faced significant challenges with inefficiencies and lack of transparency in the supply chain. To address these issues, Maersk partnered with IBM and uh, they developed TradeLens, a blockchain-based platform that digitizes the entire supply chain process, allowing all stakeholders to have complete transparency and real-time access on the data shipments. Everybody knows where their shipment is at all points in time. When they did this, um, there's an incredible value proposition that they had, uh, transparency and efficiency, you know, and that completely transformed the business. And um, today, Maersk is a successful company in the shipping business. The second story that I have to tell you is about John Deere. John Deere is a company known for its agricultural machinery, right? Tractors. We've all seen John Deere tractors. Now, they were also losing business big time and um, and and what they did to revolutionize their business was uh, they used Internet of Things and artificial intelligence into all of its equipment. All the tractors were equipped with IoT and AI. They developed John Deere Operation Center, which is a cloud-based platform that collects data from sensors on all their machinery. Um, this data is then analyzed to provide farmers with uh, real-time actionable insights on their crop. So do their crop need more water or do they are they getting too much water or you know what needs to be done with the crops all this information is provided to them you know through this operations center platform again this revolutionized the entire business earlier they were losing business to other tractor companies but then we're no longer a pure play tractor company anymore they were more a agricultural machinery company or agricultural platform company that would enable the farmers to do their job better the third story that I have to tell you today is of Domino's Pizza. Uh, Domino's Pizza was really famous for their quick delivery service. And they embarked on a digital transformation journey to stay ahead in the competitive food industry. They developed a tool called Domino's Anywhere. Anywhere as in not A-N-Y-W-H-E-R-E, it's A-N-Y-W-A-R-E, which revolutionized their order placement capability. The Anywhere platform allows customers to order pizza through various digital channels from a watch, from a smart TV, from a laptop, from a mobile phone, and so on and so forth. Even from social media and voice assistants like Alexa. It's a very competitive industry, a pizza business, right? There are local pizza shops and then there are international pizza chains uh, that Domino's was competing against. So by revolutionizing a simple thing such as how do you place an order? We are going into the IoT business now, and now doorknobs are talking to refrigerators, and the refrigerators know uh, how much food they have, and so on and so forth. In such an industry, it becomes very important for uh, customers to be able to place orders for pizzas or any other food items for that matter easily, and anywhere enables that. There are many such stories in the industry. There's a story about Cirque du Soleil, which is a circus which is run by I don't remember the names, W. Shan Kim and uh, Rene Moborn, I think, uh, who revolutionized the circus business you know, uh, at that point in time. And this is the year 2000 when circuses were 
running on standard circus acts using animals and such and everybody had already seen all those acts and and all the circuses were really losing business you know and and Cirque du Soleil realized uh, that they would not be able to do much by competing with the the other businesses the other circuses uh, in the red ocean for that matter right so they what they decided is they would change the way that they run the circus they would not do any animal acts anymore and the animal acts to do the animal acts it was very expensive to maintain and manage those animals and um, and and it wasn't a sustainable business because organizations that prevent cruelty on animals were also sort of attacking the circuses in a way so so they decided that they will innovate and uh, they introduced art into circus. They called in artists, musicians um, uh, and changed the way that they run the acts within the circus. Now earlier, the circus business was for children. Usually parents would go with the children to show them the circus, but it wasn't really that entertaining for them. But by introducing artists and artistic performances, they changed their audience. They changed their audience to a more mature audience that would primarily go to the circus for classy entertainment. By innovating their business, this is not directly related to digital innovation or digital transformation. But like I said before, digital transformation is not just about changing the technology that you're using to run the business. It is about a new way of thinking about your business, transforming it uh, to bring in new audiences, for example, or transforming it on how you do your supply chain, for example. They, they became a leader in the industry, right? They not only survived, but thrived and became a huge success and now are considered one of the leaders in global entertainment, right? So, so these are some of the stories about innovation and value proposition. Uh, I'm not going to talk about how they innovated or how you should innovate or how you should bring value proposition through innovation. Uh, just the stories for you. It's a little bit of a short podcast today, but I hope you have enjoyed the five domains of digital transformation. Once again, I would like to remind you that Enterprise Architecture Radio is not really a podcast. It's more a, a collaboration platform. This is a passion project for me. There's no money in it for me. The reason I do it is because I enjoy talking to practicing enterprise architecture professionals, IT professionals, anyone in the business, and you know, the idea is to collaborate, to learn from each other, to teach each other, to guide each other. But most importantly, have fun.